Nightside's Josh Doris is here. So if you read just the headlines today, it sounds as if the state uh, can no longer stop felons from registering to vote mm -hmm. just because they haven't paid up all of their fines. Right. Some figure done deal, right? Yeah, no, not even no. close, actually. As a matter of fact, one, this appeals court ruling only technically applies to 17 people who sued the state of Florida. So there is a lot of uncertainty for what it means for the other nearly one and a half million eligible felons in our state. Two, well, the governor has said that he is already going to plan to appeal this latest decision. And most seem to think that this is ultimately going to wind up having to be settled by the U.S. Supreme Court. Long road to go. Clifford Tyson of Tampa is one of those 17 plaintiffs. Next month, he will get to do something he has not done in four decades, vote in a presidential primary. But he wonders if it could all be taken away again. Although today was a reason to celebrate, it's a partial celebration. The 1.4 million, uh, my brothers and sisters who are still fighting, it still leaves their ability to vote in limbo. In limbo over just what all terms of a sentence actually includes. Is it fines and fees too? The Florida Supreme Court recently said yes, but the federal appeals court in its ruling today said no, it's unconstitutional, creating even more confusion as we head into a pivotal election in a crucial swing state. Come on. For Tyson. Come on. We've paid our dues to society. We can become rightful citizens, voting, paying taxes, being successful in life. It is a long road ahead. We have to keep going. But one he believes is worth walking. Can't give up on this. It's, it's too important. So the case involving the lawsuit brought by the 17 felons that includes Tyson, that goes to trial in April. The legal wrangling will almost certainly continue well after that, Ryan. Of course, the goal is for them to vote in the upcoming election in November.